What up, what up? Today I'm going to give you guys a quick little tip on how to get your subs to hit really well on a um, laptop speakers or, or an iPhone or a car or places where you don't have very good sub speakers. Um, here is an example uh, without this tip. So what you're going to notice is that if you are wearing headphones or you have a good system hooked up, you're going to hear the sub and you're not going to notice any difference. It's going to sound great. Um, but if you're listening on a laptop or somewhere where you don't really have a sub or anything, you're not going to hear much out of that uh, low end. Um, and here is the example after I applied the little tip I'm about to show you. Alright, um, it's a very easy fix, so, um, both were actually the same patch, and I just applied a little bit of a different effects on the, uh, on the second example, so what you want to do, uh, this will also be up for download, um, you want to go into the effects slot and give it a classic tube, also the other tube sounded pretty cool, the Bronner tube and the Tele tube, but, um, go ahead and put a tube on there, give it more, you know, more than half of dry wet, and about 3 o'clock drive. Also, I gave it a hard clipper, which gives it a little more bite, and um, what this basically does is it keeps the sub frequency, and it also brings out the harmonics of the, the higher parts of the synth. So it gives it a little more bite, and it just makes it kind of slap a little bit harder. Um... And so yeah, that's basically it. I uh, just I've been I've been trying to figure this out, trying to figure out how producers nowadays are getting their subs to appear on little speakers where you don't have sub support, so to speak. And um that's a good way to do it.